nouveau président de la République française, Emmanuel Macron. He did something neither of his predecessors managed, win a second term, and in the end he did it in some style. What democratic leader wouldn't be happy with winning close to 60% of the vote? But given how many voted for a candidate of the far right, he was clear last night what his main task is now. Unite and move forward, he said, and in every moment that's what we're going to do. We'll move forward, yes, and so we will in Europe. In France, he again has a clear mandate, but the Ukraine crisis has shown he has work to do in Europe. I think for Macron, the Ukraine crisis has shown two things. One, the EU should do more, but two, it's not able to do more. Does Europe want to be led by Macron? Uh, it depends who you ask, I think. Um, some people think that he is the only one with ideas. And actually, even in France, people realise that if they want to achieve anything in Europe, they need to get a majority of member states on board. And, say opponents in the French Parliament, he's going to have to learn just how much other Europeans, especially now, value NATO. When you take defence, the same thing. You know, he's fantasizing, fantasizing on European defence when the other ones want NATO. So he's got, he's between two chairs. As for Marine Le Pen, she's beaten but not finished. Her best result in three attempts, having moderated her image and skillfully exploited the cost of living crisis. There's every chance she'll try again. Last night there were several, albeit small, outbreaks of protest, even some violence. For the most part, the complaints were from the left that the French people should ever have been left with such a choice. Unless something changes radically, the far right could be back, challenging even harder for the top job in five years' time.